and Let's go. surprise, surprise, Dave did go for Italians game number one again. And you. Weber in the blue has went for lifts, so both sieves really kind of, I would say in top, honestly, six or seven sieves, I think lifts are just behind the top three, and I think Italians um, just behind the kind of, I think they're just behind the lifts and the top four as well, so I'd probably put them in five or six, especially if you can get the Genovese mm. Expos, because of the top sieves on Nomad, Auric, Cavalry, Inclined. Um, so if you can get the Gen Expo and you have the matchup, they can be really, really nice. What, what is weird to me, Italians is more like an Archer Sif, so um, it's uh, uh, probably better in the hands of like people who can really uh, good micro, right? <laughs> but Dave, well, <laughs> did you see him doing micro? <laughs> with his, with, his, with his, uh, his monks last week, thinking he can out, out micro Manga Die. Yeah, <clears throat> just uh, yeah. I mean, he's he's an old one, right? Like he's a worse version of that, pretty much. Well, worse and smaller version. I mean, I, I I still feel like that's a nice compliment, though. Well, if you if you like if you want to get compared to a player, I think doubt would be pretty high up my list. He has a he has a god yeah. after all. He has, he has the lord. I would. I would nah. I would prefer to be compared to like well, the idol is um, uh, the viper, right? Because yeah, yeah. But I, I it's think good at everything. <laughs> I think I would still prefer him like over. Uh, I, I, no, I don't know. Uh, I think I'd put him like five to eight, something in that region. Maybe like five. But Ilvice or. Mm, no, if I, if I, yeah, I think if I was going to want to have the, like, the gameplay of a player and be compared to them, I think it'd be like, I think Viper and NBL are two top ones. Obviously, Leary would be a good one because he would just be totally amazing, of course. Um, I don't think I'd want to be compared to Hera. No offense, Hera. I know you're not listening, so it's all right. Um, not compared to Hera? Oh, no. Really? That surprised me. Well, probably because of the age. Yeah, I mean, he's a youngster. Well, in age terms. So yeah, it's an old man's game, isn't it? Ah, uh, it is. I mean, the the people I'm talking to in this game are like pretty much almost all of them around like 30 years old. Yeah, I'm I'm only two years off now. It feels bad. It feels bad, man. Well, I'm I'm 29, so it's oh well, I'm not yet 29, but I'm soon 29, so we're probably the same age, actually. Well, I only just turned 28. Oh, okay, no, I'm gonna turn uh, 29 in a month, end of March. See, so you're so, yeah. you're an old bastard, then, yeah. Yep. I'm an old bastard, yeah. Yeah. But I look, I still look pretty young. I would say when I'm shaved, freshly shaved, I look like 20 years old. Maybe 21. I, I, take, I think it's the same for everybody as well, though, right? It takes years off of people, like once you shave the beard. Nah, true. Well, to be fair, Doubt doesn't have any facial hair, I think, and he looks old as fuck, so... <laughs> Could you imagine if Mem had a, had, a, had a beard? Oh, Mem, oh my god, Mem would look like 60. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I'm, Mem, I, please don't shoot me! <laughs> I have never seen Mem with um, any kind of facial hair whatsoever. I could just imagine he. I, I can imagine him having a really grey beard. Probably right. Is I mean, he's not a youngster anymore. Like it's so impressive that he has so much energy for for his age. And for and for the longevity as well. Yeah, true. Like he's done it for so long. That's I think that's the most impressive crazy. thing. Like wow. Like he's streaming since like almost <laughs> daily since 2012. I think. Over what is 13? 2012 what? or 13, I think. Do you know what his current streak's at? Oh no, I don't know. I think he's on like 750 days or something. Yeah. How old is Mem? Mem is. F oh, well, I think 42, something like that. I think he's early 40s, yeah. But he'll tell you he's 25. Yeah. If not younger. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I heard 25. 
Yeah, sure. <laughs> 896 days. Nearly three years. Oh my god. That's just... That's just nuts, man. That's crazy, man. Props to him. No, Prop really, that's, uh, that's, that's a crazy achievement, man. Props to him. And yeah. God love his wife. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. Uh, uh. He must he, he must do all the dishes, he must do all the work to like to get away with that. Yep. But in general it's just that is it's very impressive to have that kind of longevity because there's certain days I just wake up and I'm like I can't I can't be fuck streaming today. It's a little bit of an effort at times. And to be fair, I only generally stream for like three to four hours and I'm like, okay, I'm done. Like that's enough. Yeah, it's crazy. The streaming thing, it's it's such a huge commitment. Uh, like I tried it to do it, like to seriously stream more often. I tried it a couple of times, but I just I just can't. I think especially when you're getting to like the eight-hour streams and whatnot, it's just so much. Yeah. Oh, will fight by the way on the west next yeah. to the dock. Weber went from uh, for a dock between the docks. Both players <laughs> yep. went for the dock between the dock. Gonna get yeah, a funny situation. Looks lovely. And then. But Dave has already the third dock coming. By the way, can we talk about that horrible dock from Weber on the top of the map? He, I know, right? <laughs> Imagine a fishing boat on the right side. <laughs> that would have been great. The worst thing is, Dave actually noticed it in like the uh, Dark Age as well for sheep. So you would think, you'd probably think, okay, I'm gonna put the dock here and it's gonna be really safe. Uh, but no, it, it didn't happen. And Weber, they lost their villager there. Yeah, but they found the uh, will fight. Where's the villager? The villager that escaped is uh, uh, on the woodline now. Oh, I see him now. He's moving. 2 HP. <laughs> Damn. Feels bad. Well, crazy. But it uh, looks like at the moment that Dave is going to win, Bother. He's three dogs, he's Italians, and... Oh, well... no. Look in the north. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it's going to happen. <laughs> is it going to happen again? Oh, man. I'm so sad that this didn't happen to Dave. It wouldn't be even more funny. And Dave thinks he's unlucky. He just deleted it. Okay, notice that he's going to pop. Please. He's going to pop it out the right side this time. He's got it. Yeah, he deleted it. I, I, I can't, I can't, I, I can't take my eyes away off it. It's, it's, it's oh, oh. But why did he build? Am I? I'm, I'm very sorry. I feel bad for Weber, but, but you're at the edge of the like. Check the mini map. It's on this level. Come on. I don't know why you I'm, wouldn't have the garrison point out. Like anyway, you know what I mean? Like. Yeah. Uh, to it, me, that seems uh, odd. Uh, probably had the garrison point to uh, like. He control group both the docks and had the control. Uh, I had the, the flag on like the mill or something, and then well, it can happen, right? It's like a 50 50 chance on which side it will go out. But this is the A bracket. Come on, we're not. I'm not looking for bad excuses here. I expect top <laughs> gameplay only. Top gameplay only. I see, I see. Oh my god, Bepper, what are you doing with your fire galleys? Oh my I, god. He just, oh. he just put the demo against the dock. Oh my god, I think Weber already resigned in his head. I oh. mean, come on. <laughs> so, who's the unlucky player here? Come on, like. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe they've just lied to me. <laughs> that is the most frustrating thing, though. You just put your um your demo onto aggressive and you patrol it. And you're like, oh fuck. I just went and done the dock. That's not what I asked you. That's not what I wanted you to do. And now Dave has a defensive demo out, so that's hopefully going to do the job against any other demos that come in. Man, if Dave loses water here, uh, Dave is already producing fishing boats. Why? He must feel like his water's um safe at this point. But but the opponent is still producing and he's sending to attack with the weak. Okay, Dave, you're not unlucky. You're stupid. I'm okay. sorry. But... Maybe don't send yeah. those two yet. When he's got, he's actually sending a demo the other side, which I don't quite fully understand. Yeah, well, it's just like uh, Weber is running away with the fishing boat, so Dave is like, oh, he probably built another dock in the south. Like, it would make sense, right? But it's not he's the just, case. Yeah, he's just baiting them. And mm -hmm. he's, to be fair, he's actually done a quite a good job baiting them. And Weber's yeah. already making the land transition. Yeah. Range is up, three archers on the way. Oh my god, yeah. Uh, all he's got to do is just park them in behind the wood line here, and then on the gold as well. 
Did, did they have cedars? You should know. Run past. He's got a tone watch. Uh, I... He needs well, to react though. He's trying to go to Castledge and... Oh my god. He's not building a tower. Okay, no, he saw it. It's now running. It, oh my... No, Dave! Okay, maybe he's lucky. He's, he is lucky because Weber doesn't actually know that's where the gold is. Yeah, uh, true. He has fletching though, so line of sight. And Dave is... Okay, at this point... It's pretty clear who's lucky and unlucky in this game so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So far, Dave is like so lucky, lucky, lucky. Like that's that's the the, the archers just went passed by the gold. Like uh, th how? <laughs> okay, Weber did just pass the villagers going onto the stone, so should notice that one. I think he's sending the other three now, which is nice. Weber might even get the villager on the palisade if he's paying attention. Dave's actually walling out his villagers here, which is not nice. Yeah, that's why didn't he even try to go for that stone? That puzzles me a bit. It seems a bit risky, right? It's, yeah, it's super risky. Big balls. Yeah. And... Well, he has, especially since he has stone next to his gold. Oh, for God's sakes! And you're ready to place a tower there. But it was probably uh, not, not in line of sight, I guess. And with the tower, he saw the stone. It was like, oh, that's that stone is probably safer. <laughs> what? What an unlucky player, man! What an unlucky player! What an unlucky player! Oh my god! Okay, let's see. I was gonna. Oh my god! No! Don't tell me the archer's gonna stay under the top. <laughs> Just needs to adjust that one. Okay. Okay. Now Dave is kind of fucked. Yeah, and three three archers with fletching is dangerous. It's yeah. hard. It's he it does have quite a few villagers there. He's just gonna try and TC it. Okay, I like. It's a good decision actually. I quite like it because the archers are gonna have to move out if they want to stop it. Yeah, Please. But there are more archers still, right? Please just move. Why is each workshop not a stable? <clears throat> I really don't like the decision here. Like Lithuanians, at some point they will switch to a stable anyway, right? So he doesn't have a barracks. I oh my god, I... that's why. Right. Okay, that makes sense then. Yeah. That's just nomad things right there. Gonna go market smith and <laughs> and go naked yeah. and not worry about it. Yeah. Well, yeah. Still feel like siege workshop versus Lithuanians is. I mean, it makes sense. You have fortress in your base, and you're like, yeah, well, a scorpion uh, uh, handles them quite well. But Lithuanians at some point will switch to a stable. Um, it's, it's... Then you would be happy if you had your own knights, actually. Yeah. Also for map control. And long term, you're thinking about Gen Expo anyway against Lips. Gelnets. Exactly. Exactly. Gelnets. That is. Oh my God. That, that feels That's Dave. Greedy. That feels Dave. Yeah. His, his wood eco is a mess though at the moment, I will say that. Okay, Dave has to throw this big time now. If he if he somehow like I don't see him losing this at this point. He's in a great like, he's spot. a crazy lead. Yeah, he's a, uh, your eco lead is insane with the fishing boats. He's even he's double TC. Yeah. And even docking this little inlet now. So he won't be able to just be able to transport over with ease if he gets the walls up along that side as well. But should be nice, just a little bit more map control. And Weber's trying to dock the south as well. I wonder if Dave will see that eventually. Might is patrolling at least around the area, so yeah. But what 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 is up with the palace? <laughs> no, Dave. The... I think that's a bit greedy. <laughs> that's really greedy. <laughs> oh no, he's gonna uh... lose. And then we got forward siege workshop coming up, and there's only one scorpion out. But those scorpions do a lot of damage. Did a lot of damage, yeah, yeah. But that scorpion can kill. Uh, can, can, that scout can kill the scorpion. <laughs> True. Well, siege workshop will come up I at some point. I think he'll save it and just repair it. Where's the scout? That's... Should just appear now. But now siege workshop coming up. Uh, it's gonna be rough to handle, especially since uh, Dave doesn't have a mangonel and no stable.
stable would have been much better, man. The knights would have cleaned the archers. He could have hunted them down, right? And you have also your counter ready uh, against um, the mangonels. Mm -hmm. He's banking up the stone. I'm just thinking the next steps where he's going to place his castle. There? Right. Oh, the relics is, are also in favor of um, Weber. Oh, they really are. Yeah, to the right, next to his TC. Uh, on the top is one. Does he see them? He actually does. His scouting's really good. And it just, yeah. Dave just deletes the houses. No. Oh, no. Ooh. Oof. That was close. Why is he not attack the villagers? Oh, goes for the scorps. Oh, two, two for one. Well, there's one scorp left, and I don't see this castle going up soon. Well, nice target fire with the TC. Ooh, if Weber. Oh, um, oh my god, oh my god. Now, oh my god, now oh my Dave's god. going for a mangonel. Okay, that's good. Yeah, then the castle should go up. Also, it's transporting a villager to the oh, other side. He just. Okay, that's nice. Gets a good shot. Takes it yeah, one mango, should do stuff. enough. Where's the transport going? One vill. Um, mm. One vill next to the dock of Weber. I mean, he's got a good food eco, right? Wouldn't mind a sneaky stable here. Yeah. And you got I... another trait, uh, Mangonel versus Mangonel. That's good. Yeah, that's very good. Yeah, castle will go up and he should be safe. So yeah, good aggression by Weber, but Dave still has to lead. And what is he going to do with that sneak vill? I don't know. I would... Okay, he's doing a quite a bit of mark. I think he's yeah gonna try and click up to Imperial Age. So we'll see what he wants to do with that build. Condos? Oh boy, condo raids. Well, Get that's high. super pretty good. I mean, the opponent doesn't really have knights yet, right? No. He has a stable though. Borgelli upgrade now by Weber. What's he? he has fire ships. With yeah. fire ships, he can get back on water, but I think it's already too late. They've got so much from those fishing boats. Yeah, he's he's got a lot of eco in there. And he, even at the very worst, if Dave has to react, he has a lot of docks. So he should be able to react if he wants to. If he does, there's another thing. Ooh, we oh. might see now that... Oh, he's going to plant the barracks. Yeah. Oh, my God. I wonder if he's just uh, going to try and wall this out now. Okay. okay, Dave is unlucky here. That's the first time he's unlucky here. But that... Uh, well, he kind of deserved after having so much luck this game. He didn't know the dock was there though, right? Yeah, he missed it somehow. I don't know. So he could have went further in. That's the other thing. Yeah, uh, true. But I think there's certainly a little bit of un unluckiness behind it. Yeah. But the push from Pretty Weber... Good. Stalled out. Stalled yeah. out big time and he's only in one TC. Okay, Weber's gonna try to defend with double monastery. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure about this. Weber made a stable and he's not made a single knight yet. Yeah, well, it doesn't really have the economy, right? I mean, all he has is 11 farms. That's his food economy. I mean, look at his, look at his lumber camp. You gotta make another one, buddy. Wow. That looks good. <laughs> Very efficient. My god. Okay, Imperial Age now by Dave. Chi Chi! And he calls it. Dave telling us that he was unlucky. What? Unlucky. That was just a Luxster game. Big Luxster game, the first one here. Did but he... props him. Props him. Yeah, he played well. He did play well. Yeah, some weird decisions, but overall, um, yeah. Good stuff by him. Yeah, I think if you can be like. It's very easy to be overly critical, right? Like, and little yeah, things. Obviously. Yeah. But defended, I think the only thing with. Well, then he still got decent damage from the scorpions, but I think I would probably prioritize a mango a little bit quicker. And, and like you said. Yeah, and the problem is mango now. To hit with the mango now is pretty hard because every 1600 plus can micro pretty well against mangoes. <laughs> well. I, Billy, I just made 1600s and I can't micro very well, but I 
I made 1600 because I've been one I one tricked Water Nomad on the ladder recently. Okay, I see. <laughs> <laughs> I see, I see. Uh, oh, nice. What a time to be alive. Yeah, but I think Mangonel is old meta, kind of. But like you said, unless knight... there's like a lot of archers, then yeah, yeah. Knight, a knight would have been nice for sure. A couple, like a few knights, because he had the food eco and he did have the the gold. Yeah, uh, and then the knights. Yeah, knights would have, yeah I, I I totally agree. But then again, Lithuanians will go pretty early for a monastery, mm. right? So I understand. I kind of understand by the, but uh, still, it, it, it was in a defensive spot, so knights work pretty well in a defensive spot uh, against monks. Well, it, it it did work out for Dave. I was about to Call say, it luck you know, or not? I mean, he played, still played, still played decent and won the game. Took it home. GG easy, no re. <laughs> GG easy, no re. <laughs> All right, uh, let's cop out to the draft then. So. Dave with the big tasty dub and Weber with his third sieve with the loss. I wonder if he just picked Bohemians to deny. Like that last pick for Dave. And that would be the other thing I'm considering. Well, let's see. What do you think will Weber pick? Of the what pick, sorry? But uh, what will Weber pick as, as civilization? For next home map is Compass, right? Um, I, if it's not Chinese, I will. I'm trying to think of something extremely humiliating, but I'm I'm pretty sure Chinese is going to be for Compass. Okay. But for boundary brawl, then it leaves them with Bohemians and Persians, which I find a little bit more confusing for boundary brawl. If I'm being honest. Yeah. Like, Persians, Bohemians are not two civs that really jump out to me for boundary brawl. Maybe Bohemians for some weird strats? I don't know. God. Uh, I don't uh, know. P Persians? It's just weird to have Lithuanians and Persians. Mm. Like, why would you pick both of them? I feel like Lithuanians is the, the better one of those two. And and, to, wow. to be honest, I only really see Persians being, I see Persians being a better nomad civ, and then Lithuanians, I think, have a little bit more flexibility on other maps. So I think, yeah. it, I, I don't know, to me it's strange to start with lifts. True, true. Well, let's see and find out. I'm in the game at three seconds. I will load up the wreck. Now it is Compass Chinese for Weber. Malians for Dave. Yep. Chinese, as you said. You See, make the count on when you're ready. I'm going to feel really bad if uh, Weber gets a win in this because it seems like I'm the only person that's capable of losing with Chinese. Okay, three, two, one. Let's. Go. So Dave Ooh. playing in the red again. As Malians on this one. Malians pretty much uh whether solid in any nomad map, right? Just the, the wood bonus, super nice and I suppose he will get his next fishing ship out early, but not the biggest bonus on compass when you already start with two fishing ships. Weber with Chinese. Don't start with any food, so starting with the fishing ships. Really nice on this one. Starts with the early go getting off to a real good start. Yep. What, what? Malians over all a decent sieve besides the boot bonus also um, they they have a really nice tech tree they can tech into almost everything like Chinese the only issues I see is if the game goes long and they don't have galleon I could Ooh. see I could see that being a potential issue well to be fair galleons are not that great where there's not much space in water, so I would prefer for us fire ships a map like these <clears> because <throat> the galleons just get stuck and uh, yeah, surrounded. Ch Chinese only get fire ships, so don't they? 
they have galleons, right? Yeah, 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 they have galleons. Yeah. But I think, um... But only... Fire ships. Yeah. Bonjour. <laughs> Bonjour, nine? Uh, what, is, what is that all about? Uh, maybe the transport ship uh, saw his TC, I guess. <laughs> Pretty nice TC, by the way, by Dave. Shorefish, zebras, nice wood lines. Looking good. I never thought about that as well as like having the TC really close to the, the edge. I'm like, I was quite scared to do that because then you're in range of the ships. But I suppose having the shore fish there is a nice little, it's a little fail safe to be honest, isn't it? If you're like, oh fuck, I need food, I might as well just put them on the shore fish and you're not going to have to wait too long for it to come in. Yeah, and what's also good, you can like go back with your uh, fire galleys to your TC to repair them. Yeah. And um, the enemy to the fire galleys can't really engage that because of the TC fire. Yeah, and having to repair villagers is just so important in these um, early engagements in Feudal Age, what we get with the ships. So mm. we do see a player end up sniping a villager that's on the starting islands. If they don't get transported off, that can be quite a big advantage. Do you see what Dave is doing with his fishing boats? He's just taking <laughs> all of Weber's. And Weber's going to block with the transport ship. That was actually... <laughs> I think he deserved, well, he deserved that, right? Yeah, yeah, 100%. Well, I can understand Dave, because his stock is pretty shit. <laughs> I mean, his deep sea fish is so far away. <laughs> so bad, aren't they? Like, he has this... They're all, like, they're all in equal distance of shitness, and now he's just going to spread them out, so Weber can't actually... Oh! He's doing a dance. Oh. Not bad. He's, he's doing the dance, yeah. I think it's the best thing to do when you're getting blocked, just spot your fish up. And then, you're only gonna get... I mean, you should only get blocked on one, theoretically. Um, <laughs> <laughs> theory and practice are two different things, and Weber's just waiting. He's just moving. He's waiting to go. Yeah, but there. it's not doing that much damage so far. Well, and now, actually, if he gets to the... No, it didn't. Hope you have need if he got it to the island. And Dave's, Dave's transport is just chilling, like, on the coast to the west. Just waiting for somebody. True. How is he scouting? Next to the shorefish. Well, he scouted everything, so... Next to the... Or almost everything. Sorry, not the shorefish. The box turtles. Ah, yeah. It, it's, quite, it's quite picturesque, actually. The box turtles. It's actually... Yeah, it's... And he's got the deer. Up They're very cute. Off. I'm not gonna lie. This, uh, that looks super cute. It's a nice picture, isn't it? It's like a, that's like a thumbnail for a YouTube video right there. Yeah, but... I, how did... Did he ever eat turtles? That's a good food. I, th I think some cultures do do it, but I think a lot of them are protected now. So, yeah, this is um. Yeah. Let's get this. Let's get this feature removed. Yeah, I don't like it. What, I mean, look at them. <laughs> I'm looking at this this lady villager just yeah. fishing these turtles that are running around right now, just trying to live their life. Yeah, they're just doing a little dance. I like that. Also, how do you f with a fishing boat? How do you fish turtles? It's a good question. How do these fishing boats fish anything? They're tiny. Dude, How does a villager even fit in them? It's just the same size of the <laughs> fishing boat. It's, it's actually true. Like, like a few fish would weigh down the boat and probably capsize it if they hit a wave. Yeah. Also, the birds are super big. What kind of bird is that? The brown one? The birds? Yeah. Is this a... Going north? An eagle? Not to the west. Is now there are two going to the west actually, two brown ones. It's got a crooked neck. Is that a vulture? It looks like a vulture actually. Yeah, it might be. Paradox is not reading the chat. He is. He's just ignoring it because normally the chat is just spreading nonsense, right? So that's why he's not reacting to it, like a professional streamer. Yep. Because we are causing this professional game here, and we can't read the chat while uh, causing this professional game, because it would make us very unprofessional um, reading the chat. You're you're so right, Billet. <laughs> me and you have you're got welcome. me and you have got to stick together on this one. Mm. <laughs> on, on a serious note, that is one hard thing that is when you co cast with someone, isn't it? Like, it's very hard to have a conversation with someone and then, like, switch to chat at the same time. You do yeah, it. It's, it's you do it quite well, do. actually. You do it quite well. I will say but that. But I'm the co cast. For me, it's really easy because I feel always when you're the main caster, you're 
you have to be more serious in the school because so you can like choke around and then react to the chat and stuff like that. Hmm. And, uh, I, I, I prefer way more to be the core caster than the main caster. I remember 100%. that. I remember that. Yeah. Dave, triple dock, opening galleys. Here we go. And only double dock uh, fires from Weber. So he's going to need a little bit of time to mass up the numbers, but he's triple dock. And he's Malian, so he does save wood. So he should be able to mass him, but one of the docks. It's actually idle right now. Ooh, he might snipe the villager. The woman. Ooh, oh. The woman will go down. And <laughs> Especially boom. since she's retreating. She just retreated. <laughs> just went, ah, I give up. I want to die. He just retreated um, back into the ships. Ranting yeah. is not a conversation. I. You've obviously yeah. never been to my country. Like ranting is most definitely yeah. a conversation. Yeah. I mean. I mean. We can rant together and have a conversation about ranting. I, I mean, I would say so, right? Yeah. Oh, they've gonna lose his transport. That's sloppy. Should have kept it by the the box turtles. Weber's yep. house, which is actually quite a nasty time to get a house when you've got two docks and a TCL producing. He's actually forcing up a house with four different oh. villagers at the moment. Five galleys Basis. from Dave. Five galleys, but still no blacksmith. He needs a blacksmith, man, as soon as possible. Without fletching, it's so hard. That extra range and damage helps so much. Obviously. I mean, it looks like he's just trying to save it now. It does have a couple more in the bank. There's a few fires. That's a few fires, though. I would like a demo right now. I would love yeah. it. Oh, he's thinking about it. It he is a queued up one, yeah. but in the wrong dock, sadly. Yeah, so he's going to have to wait a little bit longer. He's gonna it's gonna get trapped without Fletch. Oh my uh, god, Dave. Dave! Dave! Okay, actually it's not that bad. He's, he's micring de uh, decently, but he should do a runner. Like, the, the, uh, pull away the weak one. Oh man, D Dave micro here. It's just a two-head micro, not a three-head micro. I mean, oh, demo? I'm expecting way too much from Dave. No, he doesn't even need the demo anymore. Well, it kind of nah, does. Only two left. There's three without more. Without fletching, this crazy dude is winning this without fletching. Are you kidding me? Well, winning. He lost, almost lost all the fish, and now he's migrating back. <laughs> okay, lost a couple there, but demo gonna come in, get a great hit. Ooh, very good hit. Ooh, that's a good hit. But bullet yeah, and switch. Sounds... We don't run. We clutch a, f a fist and go home. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah, <laughs> I experienced that before. Oh, uh, we clutch a fist and go home. I've just got the uh, the R for a meme where he's clutching. I've just got that in my head right now. Uh, yeah, Rumpel is a good one. Very active Swiss player. <laughs> the I'm... only Swiss uh, active Swiss player. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> there isn't a lot. I kind of like. I can't actually think of a lot of Swiss players off the top of my head. Dave, Aww, Mike. Well, Dave, Micro yeah, into the no. fire. Pog. Oh my god. Yeah, well, it's fine. It's fine. But, okay. I like Weber's strategy, sending all his fish away, but, I mean, the fishing boats which, uh, who are, which are not working is also not very helpful, but... Uh, I mean, Dave actually has more... Sorry, Weber has more fishing ships than Dave. They're not working right now, but Dave, Dave's going to try and run away to the same spot that Weber's ran away. Oh my god, that's going to be funny. <laughs> also, check the idle TC time. So unlucky, man. It's so unlucky. Dave, what about the mill? <laughs> <laughs> He's just thinking about the gains for those uh, zebra to the right hand side. Oh, true. Oh, damn. One tile damn closer to those guys. Yo, Chan Chess, hello. Oh, man. Are we going to see a transition to castle? Doesn't really look like it. Weber? No. Has really expanded on his uh, his Chinese start. Thirty four villagers over twenty eight. Was that that's so five head from Dave? T Dave with the mark. Did he smell guess. that? What the hell, man? That snipe on the dock villager, and he might get another kill here. Nope, the woman dodges the arrows. That was fantastic timing, and he's gonna try and get up. Oh, should get oh, the ships. Oh my god, the fishing! <laughs> Dave. Okay, I feel bad. <laughs> Dave, hello. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, yeah. should get those four. He sent one to the other side as well. Those ones are full HP though, so one galley is going to take a little bit of time to put them down. And he, he tried to do the market stuff to get up, but he's still not got the res just quite yet. Yeah, well, it's, how does he even have so much food? I mean, is he idling his TC? No, at the moment not. He, just, he bought so much. One fishing boat. Yeah. <laughs> and did he... Oh, he sold like 500 boot, that's why. <laughs> he like bought so much. And Weber's is Freddy thinking about land. He's got three archers now coming over. Does he have fledging? Yes. So same as game oh one. God. Waits for three archers, fledging, moves out. And <laughs> they block him with the fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. It's such a nerd. <laughs> uh... Oh my god. That was cute. <laughs> okay, he's trying to go for some house walls. Doesn't have any stone to make a stone wall. They've, they've, they've gone quick wall, man. He can't do that. Okay. Ah, maybe I'm wrong. Okay, he's delaying a little bit longer. Pulls back. And he's up to Castledge, so... And... Uh, Vapper will try to go around, but how does... Is Dave... Oh, Dave also sold his stone! He can't even make a tower. Well, to be fair, it's three archers, so it's not the end of it. You can fight them. But well, you have I don't to know. you have to idle like quite a few villagers, and you're gonna lose a few. Uh, I'll, yeah, well, you fight them, and at some point you wall them in, and look then at those retreat. walls. <laughs> My God, nice little base. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, at least it's a market, so. Oh God. And but it's... even his parry is gonna get denied. And oh my god, he's killing the llamas. Oh, that's uh... dirty. Come on. Hey, too far. I love that he put the Wumber Camp next to the water so he can like just defend the galleys if he needs to. Yeah. To be fair, the income from the mill is not that important since Dave can add more fishing boats, but he still has only one. Well, he has two one working, one not. And now look at him, he's blocking. <laughs> he tried to block the archer. <laughs> uh, okay, castle age. Do we have Belden um, side? No, he's going for Bosa, of course. Well. Because he's he... making a lumber camp on the left side. Okay, big expansion. Hmm. That, that lumber camp leaves a little bit more to be desired, so Dave realizes that and actually deletes it. Good job. And looks like he's just going to go in a little bit further in field. Like, these starting uh, patches of wood are so bad, and they just progressively get better as you go in towards the edge. So, good job, he's going for the middle one. Uh, war galley upgrade by Weber. Where is he a dock, actually? Ah, oh, the, uh, the middle. Still got the two in the middle, yeah. Again, but... Uh, well, Dave doesn't really have the economy for anything, so... Nice work out. No, he's actually deleted those houses that were uh, in construction because he's like, you know what? I probably need that wood right now. And I think he's going to mm -hmm. TC. Yeah, he's going to TC to the left on the gold. But the... Oh! Oh! Nice demo hit the with the demo. Yep, that I was got, good. I yeah, got it at the last that. second. I prepared the demolition ref for quite a long time. Or quite some time. Two head. But five ships are coming and the galleys are pretty much trapped down here. Three are down. He's got a demo, but it's only a feudal age demo. Dave's floating a lot of wood right now. Mm. Okay, that's not a bad hit. Not a bad hit. But galleys yeah, but are gonna be gone. Galleys are weak. Yeah. <laughs> trying, to run, trying to run trying to run past. Mm. <laughs> oh god. Just take the fight, man. <laughs> that was unlucky. Three TCs by Weber. Yeah, Weber's economy looks so much stronger. Uh, Chinese. Yeah, Weber... I think that's Weber's game. Would surprise me if Dave somehow comes back here. He's got... The three archers did so much damage. 35 villagers to 51. And Dave is dropping the third TC. He has... Palisaded, um, just to the east of his main base. So you, I mean, it's not like the fire ships could come and just delete them anyway. But if uh, Weber does want to get through, he's got a little bit of a warning at least. 
Um, but yeah, Weber should... Weber's in the driving seat for sure. Yep. Big time. Yeah. Like, look at this economy. Check his economy, then go to Dave's island and you're like... That's hmm. quite sad, isn't it? It really is quite <laughs> it sad. It is really. Oh, Dave going for the sneak barracks. <laughs> A barracks because he had no other military building yet. <laughs> and <laughs> Weber finds... Oh, no. oh my god. He's got time. What? He's got... Yeah, he's got the outpost already. Oh, the but archer's coming. Sending the, arch yeah. the archer's coming. And she's only got 7 Hello. HP. She's going to take two hits and she's going to be like gone. Oh man, poor woman. Not, oh, Dave just oh. doesn't have respect for any villager women, it seems. This, 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 the ar this the archer bugged out, actually. From... At the oh, stone. Funny. Oh, keep moving her. No! I'm not Dave! Look, no. he's like, ah, the woman did her job, I'm gonna let her die. Oh god. Dave says he didn't quite hear for content. Well, what content? You dying like a poor man? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what kind of content is that? <laughs> he probably hopes that we feel bad for him. Okay, he's, yeah, he's trying to compensate though. He's dropping a 4th TC. He's got 7 on food, so that's fine, of course. He's actually got the boars right next to his uh, TC on the left. Before dropping farms. I think you'd maybe just take, pick up the boar though, right? Yeah. Before chopping loads of farms. I love how he's using the farms next to the boar. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> That's taking a boar. We're gonna bother. I, we're, hey, we're, we're 30 minutes into the game. Why would I take a boar? Yeah. It goes against everything. And double <laughs> double barracks up the, the north from Dave. Oh, yeah, I just wanted to say, don't worry, this game is not over. There comes another sneak. <laughs> <laughs> double barracks, Romalians, long swords, let's go. Well, meanwhile, Dave is getting horse. He doesn't even have the economy for any <laughs> any long swords. Uh, and he's double palisading in his main base, his starting base as well. Wow, he's so scared. He's getting nervous. You can feel it. Yeah, he's super nervous. He's probably checking the score. It's like, hmm, I'm a little bit behind. <laughs> it's 1k. Oh, no. <laughs> At least well, the... don't worry. Dave has like no idle time in his TCs. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! <laughs> I just love that he's dropping farms, and he has like food right next to him. So he just dropped farms in this TC, and there's like a mill. Uh, there's like berries, so he could just mill that. That's also oh, dear. There's the boars next to the other one. Uh, he has taken the berries from the fourth one he popped up, which is nice. I should get them going. Yeah, triple stable by Weber. Supplies! Fully, up fully upgraded knight soon. No, doesn't even have bloodlines. It's just getting the second defense upgrade. Don't worry, we've got, we've got supplies coming in. All, ah, supplies. All, all, things are, all things are well and good. That's fine. 25 farms, 21 in gold. This is gonna <laughs> work. I see, I see the comeback. Uh. It's time to find out if long swords do actually trade against knights after all of the Reddit discussion. And there's a double palisades going down to the fire ships. There's a surprise. <laughs> and then the knights are just going to come in. Yeah. The knights will just. Well, they will go to the main TC probably. <laughs> and uh, well, there are a lot of gold villagers actually. So. <laughs> And he's got plus two, so they'll tank pretty well underneath the archer fire. Not that there's going to be any archer fire, because there's not any fucking villagers there. Uh, so he might get to the TC and like, oh, hang on, there's not a flag above this. Uh, Dave's where... sneaky push is preparing for so long, and he still doesn't have a single military <laughs> unit. He needs to prioritize upgrades here. He's even getting squires. Okay, quick walls. Quick walls. Quick oh, walls! Is it the oh! Quick walls! Oh! oh my god! So good! Now you need to be careful because the houses can go down pretty fast. So he needs to get all of them up. Mon oh. <laughs> Monastery is going to get walled in. But there's still a, a hole.
Uh, but Will is a few villagers on the berries. There's five there, so... That's fine. Dave is still in this. I'm sure. All about <laughs> he the... can win this. All about the and content. Dave, we trust. And he's about a sneak base at the north. is about to get found because there's an outpost about to get put down straight on top of the barracks. The double barracks sneak. The are attacking now. Oh. Dave's still in this. I, 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 I trust in Dave. Weber's res is unbelievable. What? Just sell your res and get up to Imperial Age. Like, yeah. come on. Well, he knows he can chill. Look at this island, how much economy. <laughs> then you go to Dave and like... like mm. <laughs> okay, okay, he's in on the gold villagers as well. And there's not really a lot of space to run away there. So... Don't worry, he converted a knight. Oh. He has this. He has a knight. Oh, the knight's on the other side of the, the battle here. That's nice. <laughs> I think he's gonna, <laughs> at least got to run away with these three. Bases. But the long swords are in. Yeah. And he's gonna he's put gonna down another barracks. He's gonna try to. Oh my god! He can't build that wow. barracks. Look at his, look at his barracks on the uh, Weber's mainland. He can't build it because he's at... he's collecting the deer. He must have misclicked it. <laughs> look at the knights on the left. Dave didn't even notice. Oh no, Dave. No, 50, 50 villagers now. As they any village. And he's going for a forward castle and there's two knights there. Don't worry, Dave is getting pikemen up, right? Yes, this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. And he, ha he has to run back now. Oh, my God. Oh, Dave. Okay, he really needs a defensive monastery on the west. And then I don't know what he's going to do with these villagers at the castle, but I think the castle will go up eventually. But he's going to have to cut some losses here, I think. Imagine being Dave and you check the score right now. <laughs> You'd be like, hmm, mm. maybe I'm a bit behind. <laughs> but don't worry, there's some long swords coming in from different angles. <laughs> Weber has 30 knights out now. Ah, castle got denied, yeah. Well, what's Dave's plan now? And GG, okay. That's that's his plan. G that's a good that's a good plan. GG eleven. That is a very good plan. Yeah, yeah. Uh impressive game from Weber. And look how much res he still has in the bank. So you know, I think the game probably could have been over a little bit earlier. If he really wanted it to. Damn. It no. seems it seems like I am the only person that loses with Chinese on this map. Yep. Jeez. Yeah, Weber was looking strong. Um, I mean, they've had water. But the problem is, he got water. And while he was getting water, he lost pretty much all of his fishing boats, right? Yeah, he really did. So... Only had a couple left. And then yeah. didn't really have any transition on land at all, but did have some pressure with the archers. Right, yep. So what's they gonna pick for the next map? I assume Dave will pick Sicilians because, well, Dave is Dave. I mean, the the map left is that uh, the land map, right? Where you can't, where you don't really go for water, if I remember correctly. But. Boundary Brawl has this kind of strange situation where actually going for fires can be quite strong on an early point. Because um, you're sur it's surrounded by the swamp, right? So I don't know if what Weber's going to go for here, so it might be it might be Persians, I don't know. Um, but Byzantines I think could work. I don't know how well it could work, but I think you can at least justify it. If you can justify something, I think it's a little bit better. Well, Dave with the excuse. Biggest... Okay, not an excuse really, but biggest mistake was selling my stone. No, that wasn't be your biggest mistake. Your biggest mistake was winning water and while noticing that your opponent is not doing any water aggression anymore, you're not even scouting for an archer range. You're not even, like, walling off the crossing to his island. You're just ignoring it and then you sell the stone 
and then you lose the game to three archers. That was probably the biggest mistake. I don't know, it seemed kind of unlucky, to be honest. It seemed kind of unlucky. 25 villagers at the end to 119, I mean... Yeah, I mean... Better better luck next time, I Jimmy. Just luck. I mean, it was looking good for you, Dave. Not gonna lie. You're doing, um, you were doing a decent job, also played great in the first game. Now we go for the third game. The third I'm game. I'm at four seconds. I'm gonna just load up the wreck. And oh boy, oh boy. Persians versus Sicilians. Oh yeah, Persians. Ah. I was clearing up all this shit when the archers came across. Pepega. He still had shit on water. Damn. Yeah, but only like two fi uh, fire galleys or something like that. But anyway, don't spill a bin versus Dave in a 1v1. If I would play again, like for one or two weeks, I would say I would probably win. Well, it depends. On Nomad, I think Dave is probably better than me in a 1v1. But on classic maps, I don't think Dave would have a chance. Show match and coming. Nah, I don't think so. Best of five. I, I've, I pro Dave probably agrees with me. Uh, with me, that he's like stronger on normal kind of maps than me, but I'm better on classic maps. <laughs> we'll soon find out. I'm poised on ten. Um, I'm gonna catch catch up. Seven, eight, nine, ten. You can make the countdown. And I'm gonna make the countdown. And if you can introduce the game, I'm gonna quickly run to do a piss. Okay, yeah, that sounds good. So three, two, one, go. Well, welcome everyone. Welcome YouTube. Welcome Twitch. Welcome Facebook. Welcome Mixer. Welcome Chat Roulette. We have here a very interesting set between the two legendary players, Weber and Marauder. Two very well-known players. Uh, some people would call them Sammy. And yeah, it's very intense so far. Not one-sided at all. It's 1-1, one -one, the score, at the moment. I'm not alone. I have also a Kokos with me. He's not at, around at the moment because he's... Uh, peeing is well he likes to pee sometimes i do that sometimes too because it feels good well anyway the action will start soon on this game because as you can see the thesis are next to each other so it's very intense very intense Ooh, now we see the mic with the elephant and ooh, blue almost losing a villager oh my god blue oh dave dave <laughs> He's doing a yo! <laughs> What's with this? Oh no, what happened? He killed his elephant with the TC! <laughs> he did a yo! Now oh. the next elephant! And he's gonna lose the villain! Oh my god! Oh! Okay, he got that elephant! He almost he done got that elephant! <laughs> Mr. Yo Build yeah. Order. That's <laughs> this looks fine. Uh. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. Well, you didn't miss much besides from Dave um Titanicing a bit. I mean maybe and that's what he called unlucky. But that's not really unlucky, that's just well um, how can I say that in nice words? Um Look at, I did only just realize oh. these fuckers okay. changed their colors as well in the last game. Yeah, that really confused me, so I set the blue player and then I just noticed that it's Dave and like... Uh. <laughs> well, anyway. Well, Dave couldn't handle the elephant. The elephant handled Dave. <laughs> that's not what happened. Oh, jeez. Zero, zero head coming in. Okay, Web mm -hmm. Weber's going for the migration, so he's thinking about that early uh, water presence. But we'll get onto some wood there. Looks like Dave. He's ready to build the dock, but he's only got one on wood. Is he going? He's going for the. He's going for the cheap transport to pick up the buffaloes. By the looks of it. 
Oh, it's not picking them up. It's just sending them. It back sends so them far. in. Yeah. yeah. It seems like this was a a prepared strategy. Yeah. If it's a good one, we'll soon find out. Well, he lost his elephant, so even if he loses, you like that elephant hurt him quite a lot, I think. He has a lot of food, right? And I think he. Yeah. Yeah, it's also the it's the storing elephant, right? So you're gonna have some idle time in the TC. Yeah, he has 37 seconds, so he's pretty much one bill behind. Mm -hmm. that, that hurts quite a lot. This is best of three, by the way, right? Yep. Yeah, best of threes are they're pretty brittle, to be honest. Like, you know, you you make a couple mistakes in one game that can usually cost you, and then. I think there's a big difference competitively in playing like a best of five. Like, I think it's a fairer reflection of the result. Like, best of threes can just be very, very tough on you. You make a couple of mistakes mm. and you're gone. Sure. Yeah, still, still better than the best of one, I would say. Oh god, that's <laughs> the worst. Yeah, well, I have that tomorrow. I have to play like best of ones until. Semi-finals. Semi-finals and grand final is best of three. Is this for AOE4 again? AOE4, yeah. Is it... Tech Playgrounds. The okay. biggest Swiss uh, Age of Empires tournament so far. I remember that went on for the first... Uh, for Genesis, the first one. Yeah. The one that Viper won, and he like, almost went out like very early on to the British player Sim. Like, yeah, he, he was yeah. so close to getting beaten in that, and like a bit like... Ooh, comeback time by Dave. He killed a villager of the TC. Beautiful. That was so greedy from Weber to go in for that C. Right? I know, right? Like, it seems weird. Like, I, the, when I first loaded up the wreck, I was like, they are so close to an admin re right now. Like, one tile away. Mm. Dave could. So, I think the Sicilian bonus kicks in half, like. Like, so if he deletes his TC, this TC gets rebuilt at the, the speed, does it not? Well, Dave is saying at the moment, what the fuck, but I missed what happened. I'm not too sure why. I, ju I just missed. Maybe you can say it in the chat. <clears throat> oh, he's Lumbricken! <laughs> oh my god. Can they go in? What's going on? <laughs> Can they go in there? God, he can only drop off at the corner. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god. He can't drop off at all. He's only got 38 wood. Well, uh, I don't call this unlucky. I mean... I mean, just <laughs> put it to the left a little bit. Yeah, exactly. I mean, <laughs> it's... Well, it, 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 they, went, they went for the real jungle camp. He's, he's chopping all these uh, the real jungle camp. And there we go, there's a good placement. He's chopping them all like mad at home. But that's going to delay his food eco, which he wants. And Weber's already on the way up to Feudal Age. I couldn't even drop off, actually, not even at the corner, <laughs> apparently. Yeah, I, I, oh, oh those two block. How did they even build it? I would have to look back at that. Maybe they could build it right in the no, corner. No, the drop there. off. The, 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 the drop off at the wood at the corner. No, they well, could. They, no, they couldn't even drop off. It no, must... no, it just it just dropped off ten wood at the corner. I think. Ah. Yeah, look. This one dropped off again. Well, why? It, it works, it works. Why the fuck are they not but, doing it? Well, I, I, I don't know. I mean... <laughs> it's, <laughs> it dropped off at the start, then it didn't work when I clicked. That well, sounds very unlucky. Yeah, I'll give them that. Well, okay, but still, it's... Uh, man. Okay. I think <laughs> they've tried to get into the jungle, but the jungle got into the... <laughs> <laughs> uh... Dave. I'm sorry for all these really bad puns. Oh, jeez. Dave is up to feudal age. 
He's got a mass amount of ironstone, seven ironstone. He really has 300 of it. Um, so I guess we'll see what he wants to do with that. I don't even know where you could put a castle, to be honest, in here. It may, it's quite hard to follow the wood. I don't honestly. I'm, I'm trying to look at this middle island and think where could you put a castle, unless he wants to like castle the edge. Yeah, but I see from Weber is going for that. Or the that she wants again, uh, once more. Oh god! Like he lost two games. <laughs> like oh my and... god! So surprising. And when is he gonna move out when he has three archers with fletching? We'll see. Yeah, and Dave had so much struggle at the start. He's not yet up, so 50 seconds to go. So those archers will hit pretty soonish. But uh, Weber could even click to cast late right now yeah. when he has the blacksmith. Yeah. Wow, that's bad. That's put, that's put oh Dave God. behind so much. Yeah, like, I I can't see... Can Nah, no, Dave can't recover from this. Well, I guess we've, we've all had the lesson. Do not put your lumber camps in little pockets of wood. Yeah. The, the, the jungle is a scary thing, man. Yeah, yeah. And now Dave's mm. gone. I think he's just going to have to sell some stuff. He doesn't have a barracks. He doesn't even have to wood for anything. Uh. Oh my god. Well, at least he has, a st he has the stone for a castle. <laughs> He's trying to he react, though. So. So He's trying to take the villagers off of gold and put them onto the wood because he really wants that market ASAP. Yeah. As oh, Weber get takes a villager underneath the TC fire. Nice job. If he can okay, have nice night. If he can have villager, why can he not have the TC? Mark comes up now. Hmm. Okay, Mark uh, will have the res, has a lot of stone, so can just sell a little bit. I don't know if he will because he's only 50, 30 away. Yeah, he should be fine. Weber? Weber's still not up either. So they're going to be up pretty similar times. Weber's going to sell a little bit. Oh, he's done his 5 gold. And should we just be clicking up just now? Weber? But let's be Weber could have clicked up so much uh, earlier. But well, he's with the four archers into uh, Dave's wood line. And well, Dave can run, but he can run, but he can't hide. The good news is he at least has a, enough stone to drop a tower. Oh god, he's got dungeons. Okay, so he's gonna try and run back oh, to wow. his dungeons where his, uh, where his stone is. Ooh, nice quick wall there. That was clutch. Oh my god, he's gonna save yeah. all those villagers. That was good, but it's a nice shiny thing, but it's still so much damn villagers behind. Or 10 economy units, because he lost water, obviously, as well. Yeah, and four fish and ships. Yeah, four fish and ships from Weber. And the dungeon, as long as he put some villagers in here, should get some nice hits. Go on, garrison some. That ah, could have been better. But the villagers are at least safe now. He doesn't have any wood at all. And he's not actually collecting any wood. Where's he going to put this castle? Uh, uh, probably on the wood line. Because he made an outpost there and is waiting with five villagers next to the outpost. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Yeah. I did not notice those bells. And you cannot stop. I'm pretty sure he will, he will drop it there on the hill. He's going in the middle. Ooh, and Red is just coming for a villager now. Oh no. It's just... The, why is... Okay. The woman wants to lumber check on the... No! He's going... He went for the middle. No! I wonder if he's going to try and drop the one on the other side when he has the stone. I mean, I mean, that strategy is, is, is pretty good, but... I would have preferred first the castle on the wood line. The wood is so much more important than the middle. Yeah, he's not going to be far away from getting a second castle, but maybe like reverse order. Maybe like castle wood first, and then castle in the middle afterwards. Yeah, the the the, the wood is, uh, seems so much more important. And like Dave's Dave's realizing that just now. He only just got the, their lumber camp up, and he's going for some pre walls. 
I, I, I think the, the strategy uh, they've had with Sicilians is fine overall. It's just the start and then the lumber camp. Like killing one elephant with the TC and later on <laughs> dropping that lumber camp, it's kind of bad. But still, he should have gone for that TC, uh, for the castle first, I yeah. feel like. Yeah, and the knight's are running on stone villagers now and he's going to get a massive clear up. Dave's not noticed yet. Needs some, needs some pretty tasty quick walls. Does get a house up. Another one. Okay, this. he's going to try and wall them in and then make a monastery. <laughs> I, I guess. I and guess then that's the plan. Castle coming up on the TC from the the southwest from Dave as well. <clears throat> he can't just castle the woodland. He can't just move to the next woodland herb. That's true, but still, it w would do more damage than in the middle, right? I think so. And then you can. It's not like he's got a massive eco to put out some sergeants, but. That that eco would have been totally unprotected because there was no TC to there at the time. I think it actually worked quite uh, not, uh, it worked out pretty nice uh, for Dave because um, Weber dropped the TC there, so the delayed castle on the wood line actually uh, denies the TC now. But there's a cheat sheet called mm -hmm. uh, from and then Dave. He calls it. Yeah, it's just My too star. behind. Well, that's unfortunate for Dave. Okay. Oh man, but so fucking hilarious and funny, man. <laughs> I, I think I the best part for me is looking at this. Dave's most created unit was a, a transport ship. One. That's his most created unit. That's just beautiful. Yeah. Oh man, I would be so... Fr well, Dave is probably really frustrated. Probably I, still is now frustrated. He though. said, I was so mad about this game, not gonna lie. That doesn't really surprise me. Yeah, I mean, I, I would have raged so hard, man. <laughs> I would just out all the four, probably. Kill the elephant, house two times, into the bad lumber camp. It's a lumber camp, it's a clincher, though, isn't it? I think you can accept losing an elephant. You're like, fuck, that's really bad. But it's not something that's abnormal. But that lumber camp is a kind of thing it's you're like, I, I, I feel like this game. It's, I think it's my mistake, that lumber camp. Because last time I was casting with Dave, I told him that the jungle camp is very important and is game deciding. And Dave went this game for the jungle camp and he lost. So I kind of feel bad. Uh. I think he took my advice and lost because of that. So that loss is on me, Dave. And See, I feel very bad about it. That's like the nicest way to give yourself a compliment. It's like, yeah, he only lost because he took my advice. Regardless if it's good or not. Yeah. Feels bad. Well, Satch, man. Per day. Satch. Still, super entertaining set, man. It was a good set, wasn't it? And yeah, it was a really entertaining set. Just sad that Dave is out now. I would have looked so much forward to cast another round of Dave, <laughs> we, <laughs> honestly. We still have Krizini, though. That is, so True. All True. hope is on him. I cast this set the other day, and he went triple monastery with his Aztecs in game one, and just went redemption oh and converted everything. Which was <laughs> which was really quite sad. And then game two on Compass he went mass scouts. Wow. He literally just went mass scouts, like five stables. I I really wonder if Dave and Crescini try hard, what rating they would get. I I God They I... probably both are at least like eighteen hundred, it seems. Like on this type of maps, I I don't know about standard maps. They they suck in standard standard maps. I don't know about Krasini. Krasini, like the worst part of it, Krasini, like he's it's like he's not even trying. It's just like I'm just gonna do something that's like ridiculous and off meta. And I think that's what's the the hard bit for people to deal with because it's so off meta. They're like, oh, uh, I don't know what to fucking do here. Except thanks, Krasini is around two k. Um. Uh, 2k is a benchmark. I don't know if I'd go that high. Like getting 2k is hard. I, I feel like, well, I don't know. The 2k, 2k is definitely achievable for almost every person. I feel like, unless you're like handicapped in some way. Mm -hmm. But if you really try hard, analyze your games, and so on, 
Um, 2K is definitely achievable. I think so it is for most, it yeah. It wouldn't surprise me if Cresini could get 2K. Yeah, but still, at the moment, I, I only cost up one set of him, and he looked sharp, but I didn't see the level of a 2K player. But mm -hmm. it, it's hard to judge, uh, hard to judge from uh, two games. Well, Cresini obviously will have seen shitloads of games. Well... <laughs> Uh, a lot of viewers did that. We have a lot of 2K5, 2K6 viewers, but most of those viewers... Why stop there? 3K. Garbage! <laughs> uh. I mean, I mean, Reddit is fun and all, but check their opinions there, and that's your classic viewer, right? <laughs> oh my god, Reddit's... You, you actually get burnt to the stake. I read it for suggesting like that everybody can get to fourteen hundred. Not 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 just two K. People will say fourteen hundred is like some thing that's like it's just not possible for every player. Which it is. Like fourteen hundred is definitely possible for every player to get to. Yeah, hundred percent. I think uh, it has a lot to do with uh, mindset. I Ma mean, it's just the Age of Empires. It's kind of easy to learn. Like, just the basic basics. But then you have to invest time to uh, understand when to do which build order and stuff like that, right? Mm -hmm. And I think, like... And if, you've, if you figure that out, you will improve so fast. I think the learning curve can be quite... can be quite large if you're not used to, like, RTS. And just generally in terms of... Like, I, there's a lot of symmetry in the service, but... I think people get overwhelmed by the number of subs as well, so that learning curve is quite difficult for people to kind of get over that hump. There's there's a lot of things that go on in the game for sure. Not the uh, not the easiest thing. Nah, well, it's also hard to because some people learn the best by playing a lot. Other people learn much better from analyzing their games and so on. So there are very different aspects. Mm -hmm, different also, methods. some people learn the best with a coach. Yeah. But... And some people not. Yeah. It's the joys it's really of learning, good. isn't it? Yeah, but I feel like... I... You... <sighs> I don't know. I don't think a coach is needed... Until a certain level, maybe like until 1500 or something like that. I, I think really 1400 should be achievable. Uh, well, I don't want to say anything, so people would just uh, feel bad about it or hate me for it. So I would even but... like go a little bit higher, maybe like 18. Like, I think there's enough like free content out there for people to get a general idea of what to do. But maybe when you start to get to like 1800 2k, then maybe you need someone else to look at your games and have like a different like uh, outlook on certain things that you can't pick up on or you just don't have the ability mm -hmm. of doing it. But <sighs> I mean, also, it's, sometimes it helps just focus on one strategy and master that one. I mean, uh, Huang is a great example for that. Yeah. I mean, all I can do is really one strategy. And they got into like top 50, top 40. Top 50, yep. Easy. If not higher, I think mm -hmm. he was up to like t top 25 at one point. But well, obviously in tournaments he sucks, but... <laughs> oh yeah. It looks like he's preparing yeah. though. Like He's been playing some goths recently. Don't know if you've seen those games. No, I didn't really watch any Huang games lately. <laughs> oh god. He's been playing like... Uh, he's playing a lot of goths as well. But whenever you come to like Huang in like tournament games, you look at his drafts. His drafts are always the funniest shit ever. Like, still picking Spanish. Uh, for like Arabia game one, I think it was the last Hidden Cup qualifiers he picked Portuguese and then ended up playing Portuguese game one on like Arabia as well. It's like, I, like, how could you be so good at one thing and then like so monumentally bad at doing other things? It's uh, it's quite bizarre, really. Yeah. What was he max oh, well. Um, eighteen, eighteen. I don't. I don't. I had a one percent tolerance because I'm a nice guy. <laughs> Especially well, people are massive into um, goals. So like, oh, I'm gonna make eighteen hundred. So it's a bit unfair yeah. to like have like if somebody's like eighteen oh three to like then say, okay, you can't compete. Whereas like eighteen eighteen was like more than one game over. So I thought that was a. I, I feel I feel like elo goals is a bad thing anyway. Mm -hmm. I mean, 
the important thing about um, wanting to get a higher elo is not wanting to get a higher elo, but instead want to uh, want to have fun and getting better at the game. Yeah, I think the main thing is to enjoy yourself, right? Like as long as you yeah, pretty much. That was the problem with my with my, uh, myself with Age of Empires too, because at some point it wasn't just really fun anymore to really grind. You absolutely but, yeah. have to enjoy the process, and if you can enjoy it, then everything else should come like second nature. Yeah. But if you don't do that, then good it's, luck. It's, it's like back on Wobbly, I enjoyed it way more because of the lobby system, mm -hmm. but that's not really competitive because you can always play your favorite map and so on, right? But the thing is with uh, with um, quick play stuff like that, you have to play maps sometimes you don't like, and then it feels often more like a chore than like having fun. Yeah. For me, like practicing, like I enjoyed uh, practicing for tournaments, but after the tournaments, I had no motivation to play again mm -hmm. because it just felt like semi work. I don't know. I think that's quite a common like comment I've had from people actually that's signing up for tournaments, because I'm I try and always have like a minimum amount of games, and some people are around at like forty games. And they literally just say to me they have a lot of team games. And they just say like I don't enjoy one v ones in the current format, so I don't actually play them very often. I'm like that's that's mm -hmm. fair. But then I have people DMing me and saying, "Oh, this guy is a smurf. He doesn't play one v ones." And it's like, well, not everybody enjoys playing one v ones, so that's probably yeah, why. That's yeah, but uh, team games are way more chill because you don't have to like one v ones always feel pretty try hard at least for me. I I always get that vibes when I play one v ones. Yeah, I don't I I don't really enjoy playing them. I've got like five hundred of them, but I don't I don't I go for sports where I'm like okay I've got to play some games to just uh, brush yeah, up AOE, on some things. In AOE two, the only thing that really uh, I really had a lot of fun with was playing um, Islands and Migration one me once. <laughs> and that's the most fun for me. What? Where is Masters of Islands? What happened? Well, day from the high started to planning, we had uh, pretty much figured out everything, but uh, it was it's just hard to get uh, get people to um, like spend money on it because you, you if you want to have good players, you need some prize pool, right? Mm-hmm. And well, it's also AOE four came out, and I got hooked up with AOE four, and so in the end we decided to not to do uh, this. And then they've started to planning this uh, Nomad tournament <clears throat> with Tristan. So maybe at some point, maybe at some point, probably, yeah. not. We, probably not. We need an Iowans tournament. Well, I don't think we need it. Is probably the wrong thing to say. No, I think it would be nice. <laughs> It would be uh, there. But we go. It's not that necessary. You, you, with a master of islands, you don't make that many people happy. Honestly, I mean, like, but with WWC, I feel like there's a lot of people that had like that have came into chat and been like, "Oh, I actually didn't think I would enjoy this tournament, but I really did." Because yeah. whenever you like see <clears throat> like posts and I don't know if it's in red, whatever it is, there's a lot of like hatred for Nomad as well. People like. Maybe just have, have played a couple of games and they played a game where someone's vil fought them at the very beginning, which doesn't actually like exist in the competitive format of the game. I'm like, oh, this is fucking shit. Because it is shit. If somebody vil mm -hmm. fights you like 10 seconds into the game and you end up getting a 2v1 with two villagers and one villager's down, you're like, oh, I'm never going to play this again. It's banned. And then they never they never play the map again, right? Like, I think that's quite yeah. common, actually. That's true. Remember the Noma team games, but well, true. The Noma team games are fun as well, unless there were still sometimes in the lobbies there were lo lots of pepegas. I don't know, man. When you <laughs> had to play with free, for example, I, I didn't. Well, I enjoyed it, but I don't know, man. There were there were some really weird people in the Nomad scene <laughs> back on Woobly. Oh, and then the ladder it was well. The two v twos were fun, but. I don't know. It was they were they were enjoyable, but just, I don't know even what to say. <laughs> it's just people annoy me sometimes a lot. <laughs> it says reap. 
Yeah, freaking Reap, man. Reap is uh, uh, a fake Canadian player. He lives in Canada and is from Brazil, I think. Oh, and God. He, he was the fakest 2K on Wubbly. <laughs> what did he? Uh, he was... Well, Boost, boosting he, points? I don't know if he got boosted, but he was somehow 2K and he was so bad. And he was like, oh, so, yeah, hey, Dave, Bullich, let's team together. <laughs> I'm 2K, I'm going to carry him along. Yeah, shut up, <laughs> Reap, man. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, jeez. His friend no, got, his friend, he did yeah. get boosted, yeah. Okay. Oh. There's so many names that I don't actually, like, I I got back into AOE, I had in Cup 2, so that was just pre-D, or a little bit before. So, like, there's still, mm. like, a lot of names I've picked up, but there's so many of them, like, I just don't know, like, Reap is not a name I've ever heard before. To be fair, uh, Reap play. is not a well-known guy. Uh, there are some... Back in the Wubbly days, you had maybe like 1,000 up to 2,000 active players, right? So it was a small community. So all then, then you then you had like 600 uh, who were on a decent level, like, uh, who ca can play together high level team games, right? So you always played against the same pretty much in those nomad lobbies. God, I know a lot of people that have been playing HD that have just transported over to DE as well, and it's like the same thing. They've, yeah, they've, yeah, yeah. they've still been playing times, each other but... in HD, like, oh, Nomad Lobbies. That's what yeah. I was playing beforehand. I wasn't, like, because that... Nomad Lobbies are always very, very popular in HD. Yeah, HD... Well, the problem with HD... People that... Were... Pretty bad in HD. Yeah. Like I started with HD as well in uh, like er, like pretty much when it came out, 2013 ap April, I think. And it's just people. That, like, I just started and watched tutorials and stuff like that from Zero Empires and so on. Mm -hmm. And I got like I I needed two or three months to get to 1800 on HD, and then another three months to get get to 2K on HD. So I think that shows a pretty good picture how bad people were in HD. It wasn't a high skill level, no. Nah, no, way. no, no way. really not at all. I When I started playing, when I got back to HD, I played on my old laptop and I used to play on a trackpad. And I, I actually played like oh, that. Really? I actually played like that for over a year. <laughs> and that's why I eventually got to play Nomad because you don't have to do very much at the beginning. So I was on the trackpad, obviously going around and just like centralizing villagers. Uh but on like a normal like standard map like in Arabia, like using the like using the trackpad used to be a nightmare. And then D came along and I, I, I was still playing on a trackpad at this point. I don't know why I never thought of getting a mouse. Like I was I used to travel quite a bit for work. So like I don't know why I just didn't have one, but uh it was not ideal. I think I got it to 1100 on the trackpad DE. So that's still that's I, it's still decent. I, I, mean. I, I like I like to tell I like to tell that to people to make them feel bad if they're below 1100. It's like, well, I got it to 1100 on a trackpad. <laughs> well, it's like the same day from this controller. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. Oh man. Yeah. Well, yep. paradox. It has been fun. Yep. It was a pleasure as always, and hopefully I can co-cast again with you. Sounds so, good. Yeah, Appreciate cool. it a lot. Everybody yeah, should go just... and follow Bullet if he ever does a stream again. Yeah, well, my last stream is only like two, 22 days ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So that, well, after the Tiki Tech Playgrounds uh, tournament, so in like March, uh, I will stream more often probably. But let's see. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> you never know. Well, well, anyway, thank you for having me and have a good time. You too, mate. Bye-bye. Cheers. Thank you. See you, man. Bye.